right, so this is going to be an EDC update for the summer. Um, the reason this wasn't in there to begin with was when I did that review, this bench made the axis lock failed, where the springs in both sides broke. So basically it was stuck in this back position where it would just swing freely and with a extremely sharp blade it wasn't safe so I just sent it back. Um, it's going to be an EDC update because this is what I'm carrying instead of that Mora Eldris which I don't know where it is right now so, so I guess it's a good thing I got it back. That and um, as an update sometimes I will carry this light which if it'll focus Mm, there it is the SRT3 Defender from Nightcore they no longer make this light but it's not my tactical light even though it's just as bright as the other one and the thing with this one is this ring controls the brightness and it, that ring can be changed whether it's off or on so it makes it a really easy light to use and it gives you the exact amount of light you want they make the I think it's the 7 the SRT7 it's a way bigger light but if you want that technology they still have it and I don't want this to be a little short video for no reason so this I'll do a quick review on this um, when I sent it in I had my edge on this knife so I told them not to touch it so I can't talk about um, how they sharpen their knives but just as just to show how sharp it can be, I'm cutting myself. <laughs> um, it's a very, very sharp knife. Um, the handle is extremely large. It actually makes the blade look small. One of the crazy things is, even though it's such a large knife, whenever you get your hand on it, that thumb rest locks the rest of the handle in. And it just feels amazing. Uh, the angle at which the blade is sharpened for me is like probably like a 15 degree or I mean a 30 degree so that'd be 15 on each side it's very very shallow it's very sharp um, something about their their service when I received this knife from Benchmade in the box it was sharpish I wouldn't say it was like sorry hitting that camera and tripod again it was like sharpish it wasn't really I would call it razor, it was very toothy. So I had to sharpen it the first day I had it. Um, the axis lock broke in fairly quickly. The blade centering was not what it is now where it's basically in the middle. And if I push it, it goes back to center. That was not the case when I first got it. It would fluctuate and sometimes it would scrape the edges. And then this like false, not false edge, um, like non-lethal option, it would wiggle and rattle. Now it's locked in tight. And then this clip, I actually still have the clip that they originally gave me. It was extremely loose and it was very thin. I think this one's thicker or it might just be that I think it is, but it's a lot stiffer. And one of my tests for clips is if you get your fingernail under there and you try to pick it up, and if it hurts you to pick it up with your fingernail only, that's generally a pretty sharp, I mean, a pretty uh, strong clip. And when I sent it back to them, they were very professional, very nice. They even gave me the clip for free, which I mean, I didn't even lose it. They just sent me one. So that's nice. The blade, I have no reason, I have no like reason to carry it other than I think it looks cool. I have no knife fighting knowledge. So it's, name is the bedlam which its name means a scene let me see i have it written down because i knew i would forget it means a scene of uproar and confusion so it's a that's a good name for it i guess for being like a war knife and it's it would probably do very good at that i just use it to cut open packages because i don't need to cut open people all the time but that's the review of that i actually really like the knife it carries well especially because of the deep carry it only sticks out about right here 
and then the other thing is it's heavy but I'm used to carrying fixed blades so it's pretty good to me that is the update I will be coming out with a review of my backpack contents soon I just haven't got to it and I think this takes priority over that so thanks for watching and have a great day